All right. Hey, uh, let's get started. Uh, this is how to draft number 14. Uh, let me get set up here. All right. So uh, as you can see here, uh, number 14 um, is basically a box with a notch cut out of the top of it. Pretty straightforward. So uh, I have my paper squared up. I have my half inch border, my half inch nameplate. Getting ready to start my half inch uh, Lucky L. And so what I'll do is I'll measure over yet a half inch from my border and a half inch up from my nameplate. And quick reminder, uh, the Lucky L is the bottom and the left hand side of your object that you're drawing, okay? I still have kids all the way up through eighth grade that ask that question, what's that Lucky L for? And that's one of the very first things we teach. So you gotta keep that in mind. Uh, you gotta start, uh, gotta start somewhere. So we're always starting in the lower left corner with our Lucky L. It's hard to see on the computer there, but it, uh, on the monitor but it is uh, just a big capital letter L. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in this lower corner uh, of the um, of that box here. I'm gonna measure straight across four inches. So I'm gonna go across this way four inches. And just a quick reminder, instead of drawing it at 30 degrees like it is on the, on the monitor there, I'm gonna flatten it out, so which means I just rotate it and set it flat on the paper. So I'm coming across four inches. We're gonna go up two and a half. Uh, one, two, and a half. And so I'm gonna start out with just the front, which is just a box, okay? And you can see the box is the same. Now I gotta cut that little notch out of here. So let's see, it says I come over one inch from each side. So from the right side, I'm gonna come over one inch. And from the left side, I'm gonna come over one inch and put a couple marks. And then I'm gonna draw those come down one and a quarter. Notice I haven't measured those yet. I'm just gonna draw two lines and make sure they're at least one and a quarter long. Measure them out. Draw a line across there with my T-square. And there's the basic shape. So now we gotta do a little bit of erasing. We're gonna get rid of any of the lines that we don't need or didn't use. Okay. And I'm gonna erase the parts of the lucky L that I never used. Okay, and I didn't use this part of Lucky L, and I know you guys are gonna get tired of erasing stuff, but that is just part of doing drafting. It's kind of like when you're doing woodworking, sanding. Nobody likes to sand stuff, but it's part of the deal, um, and it makes your drawings look better, makes your projects look better. So a little bit of erasing. Now I'm gonna come back in, I'm gonna darken that up real good and dark. And again, when I do this, I use my drafting tools. I don't freehand, darken up. I don't use a straight edge like a ruler because a ruler, number one, isn't a straight edge. It's a measuring device. Uh, but I'm going to use my tools just like I did before. And I'm going to come in and darken everything up nice and dark uh, so it's easier to see on the monitor. Plus, it will make the um, erasing marks much more less noticeable. And there is the front view of my uh, my object. Now we're going to come in and make it 3D. So we're going to come in and do diagonal lines from each corner that does not go across my front view. And those lines, uh, let's see here, those lines are, look, oh, right there, they're inch and a half. So I'm going to come in from each corner. I'm going to draw a line that is at least an inch and a half, maybe longer, but I'm going to go at least an inch and a half. And again, do this from every corner except for the ones that go across the object. So I'm not going to do one here because it would be across the front. I'm not going to do one here because it would be across the front. And then I need to measure back on this diagonal line one and a half. So I'm going to take my ruler, measure back one and a half, put a mark. And again, we're going to parallel. If the front goes up, the back goes up, and we just parallel what's happening in the front uh, along the back. So this goes up one and a half. Now, I don't need to measure this because if this is all done correctly, that should be exactly one and a half. And then I can come across here. Oops, if I don't break my lead, come across there, come across here. Now, you notice I, those lines are quite a bit darker than I was writing because I know these are not going to get erased. So I'm going straight to visible lines instead of construction lines on those. And then I'm gonna come back and erase all these little lines called tails. We're gonna get rid of those tails. And then you guessed it, as soon as those lines are gone, we're gonna come back and darken up the lines I just made. 
Now the ones that I didn't draw nice and dark, uh, so most of the diagonal lines, I think, need to be darkened up. Because remember, I didn't measure those. I just drew a bunch of lines and then went back and erased them. So we're going to come back in. We're going to go to each corner. Darken those up. And again, this is where I have to be careful. I always end up sticking my head into the way of the camera because the camera sits over my head. Okay, and voila, there's number 14. Hey, we got to put some measurements on it, right? We're only about halfway done. It's always that last little step. Uh, I'm going to, on the drawing that you see, they put four inches up here, and that's fine. I could put it up there, or I could squeeze it in down here. Should we put it up high? Let's go up uh, really nice and high. So we're going to go here. I'm going to skip a quarter inch. I'm going to draw a line that goes up nice and high. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to skip about a quarter inch, draw a line nice and high, and then I'm going to come up here, do my dimension line, leave a space in the middle of it. I'm going to put the dimension in there, add the units. Don't forget those black, nice little arrowheads on each end that touch right on the tip of the uh, extension line. This extension line is a little excessive, so I'm going to erase it just a little bit. As long as I leave a space here, we would. Now, I can use those lines twice because I'm going to come in and do the same thing here. I'm going to skip a quarter and go up a quarter. I'm going to skip a quarter and go up a quarter. And then I'm going to label each one of those with a dimension. And that's going to be one inch. And then don't forget black arrowheads on each end. The number of black arrowheads left off on drafts by middle school kids at Evergreen Middle School would shock you. I don't know why. But put them on while you're working. Don't wait. Don't think, oh, I'll come back and do those afterwards. You always forget them. I don't like the way that extension line looks. It isn't quite high enough. So I'm going to come back. I'm going to raise it up a little. And then I'm going to erase just a little bit down below. There we go. Those will work. All right. So a couple other measurements. I need to tell you how tall the whole thing is, right? So they went over here. And again, I'm going to skip a quarter inch, put a line. I'm going to skip a quarter inch. And when I say skip a quarter inch, I'm just estimating that. Uh, I'm trying to get my dimensions far enough away from the object that you don't confuse the dimensions and dimension lines and extension lines for part of the drawing. That's always my goal is to keep them out far enough that I can see them. Otherwise, you guys tend to put this number about a tenth of an inch away, uh, so small that I can't even see it. It's just, I mean, you put it right on top of there, and that's no good. Uh, let's see. What else do I need? Oh, I need to tell you how deep this is. I could come out here and put it on, or I could put it in here. Um, let's stick it. Uh, let's just kind of do it like they did. So we're going to come out here. We're going to go a quarter inch away, put an extension line. We're going to come down to the bottom of that valley. We're going to put an extension line, and that allows us to come in here and here, and tell you that that's one and one fourth. Two little marks mean inches. Give it a little arrowhead. Give it a little arrowhead. Let's see what that looks like. Let's see. Hey, that's not too bad. That's how you do number, what is this, number 14. All right, so hopefully that clears it up for you. Show you how to do it. Uh, hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.